Hey guys, it's Johnny again. Um, this is going to be my um, video that was requested by Kevin Siddle. Um, you want to see all of my David Bowie. Um, but this is going to be the CDs um, part of this. And um, pulled a load of them out. And um, this is everything I've got on CD, Kevin. And uh, whoever else is interested in watching this. And um, no particular order. A lot of these albums I've not even listened to. Um, I more prefer the 70s stuff. And um, so we're going to start off with this one. Um, this one's called Christian F. And uh, I know absolutely nothing about this. Uh, probably station to station is the only thing. And... Um, well, Heroes is on there, but yeah, is that, that's a, a soundtrack. So, yes, I've, if that is a, you know, a film, I've never seen it. And yes, no, absolutely nothing about it. So sorry, mate, um, I'm a bit useless when it comes to that. <laughs> and uh, it needs a new case. So yeah. Anybody who is a David Bowie fan, let me know what uh, is um, your favourite stuff um, by him. Um, right, next one. This one needs a new case. I must have got this second hand because the case is not very clean. I'm going to take this. Yeah, this is one of my favourite albums by him. Um, and it is uh, Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. Um, this is the remastered, 24-bit digitally remastered. Um, five Years, Moon Age Daydream, Starman, Star, Ziggy Stardust, Suffragette City. They're all great songs on there, so. That's uh, more of an all-round favourite album, that one. Where I could put it on and not skip anything. Um, but yeah. That one there, from 19... Oh, what year is that? I've forgotten now. Whoever is a David Bowie fan is going to be shouting at the screen. John, it's 1972 or something like that. But no, this is a 1999 reissue, so. There we go. Next one. Oh, I have got, um, I have got an earlier edition. So yeah, the album is 1972, I've just read on the back. Um, so yeah, this is uh, probably, obviously, um, CDs weren't around then. So <laughs> anybody younger than us guys that were born um, uh, in the previous millennium, um, <laughs> decade, should I say, um, century. Um, yes, this is... a. Uh, these didn't come out till the 80s. Sorry, I'm shaking this around a lot. Um, but yeah, this is um, printed in West Germany, so it's an early one. So 80s for sure, a copy of the CD. And um, that's it inside. Then we have another 70s one. Don't know the year now, I've forgotten this is a remaster reissue thing and it's Aladdin Sane and uh, yes like driving Saturday is great on there um, and the Gene Genie at the standout but yeah that's uh, one from 99 another reissue similar to that uh, 99 again um, the Diamond Dogs and uh, yeah, the title track, Diamond Dogs and Rebel Rebel, those would be the ones I know the most off of there. I've played a lot of the, um, the best ofs a lot, so. Um, this one, I don't know. First of all, when I found this in the charity shop quite a few years ago, I thought it was a CD single by the way it looks. And it was just in this thing like this and 
I just picked it up. I thought, yeah, David Bowie CD single in a digipack thing that would do. It was only 10, 20 pence. And then it was only later on I got when I got it home, I thought, oh my god, it's got 19 songs on it. So it's an album called Outside. And um yeah, this uh thing's a bit of a uh oh, it's got a booklet there as well, and the CDs in there. I don't know much about that, except for it's got that book, song called Hello Space Boy, which I really do not like. Um, the last album, which uh, I went out and actually bought new. And um, I bought this a year after he died. And obviously it sold loads, I suppose. And I put it on. I had one song on. Within two minutes, Zach said to me, because he was in the vehicle in my car, in my in my van with me, and he goes, oh, Dad, you've got to turn that off. And I said, why? He said, because it's so sad. And he was really upset. He was crying. So I had to turn off David Bowie's new album. So, because obviously he found it really sad. Um, uh, this one is a later one for me. Uh, this one's called Hours. It's got one of these cool... Uh, sort of 3D sort of sleeves, well, in a sleeve there, booklet. Um, this is cool, yeah, hours, um, 1999. I'm assuming that's 99 originally. So um, I don't know much about this. I think I'm gonna have to stick these on. Um, where it sort of started for me, um, uh, with having a physical copy to listen to it was when I used to borrow my uncle's um, cassette tape of this and was it cassette tape? I think it was a cassette tape sure. no it wasn't, it was a CD yes, I remember borrowing his CD of this um, in the early 90s and uh, I didn't give it back really badly. Um, I, lo I lost it in the end. Um, so he was understanding. I'm lucky, so got him another copy. Um, but yeah, it changes Bowie. So this is where I heard all those great songs in one compilation. And um, I'd say that I don't understand why they missed off um was it life on mars because that's my favorite song and probably one of his best and i don't understand why they missed it off of here if anybody knows why they missed off life on mars let me know i'm just double checking to make sure i'm not being stupid but um yeah it's not there um that really killed it for me um, this one I picked up in a charity shop about three years ago, last month or so. Yeah, it would have been three years ago because I saw it pop up on my timeline this uh, just recently. And I picked it up for 10 pence, I think it was, <laughs> in the charity shop. And I was like, wow. And it was in like brand new. And it is a David Bowie London Boy CD. I just thought, yeah, cool for 10 pence. No, it's, our charity shop seem to put either a little black dot up in the corner or they'll put a sticker on the back like that. So that's their code so they know what stock they've had, I think. Uh, but they always put a little black marker pen dot on there. It's a very good marker pen because it don't come off very easy. Um, so yeah, London Boy. This is all really early stuff of David Bowie. This comp, this uh, CD was from '95. Um, one that I had still sealed, I got from my mate Ian. I was really disappointed with this, even though when I got it, I was so excited. Still sealed, and it's this: the Singles Collection Double. And there's loads of songs on it. It's eighteen on one CD and 19 on the other. I would love to have another copy of this. 
I hear you ask, why do you need another copy? Well, this one, I unwrapped it and I put it into my CD player in the car. It played one song and then wouldn't play any others. So I took the CD out and for some strange reason, the, um, the center ring, this where it's all printed there, was starting to come off. And also I noticed that the, the silver side of the disc had gone, um, was it this one? It's this one. This one, even though it's a brand new, it was a new CD, you can't see it on there very well, but the CD had gone crazed on this side. And it's got like a, um, it's not like cracked or nothing, it's just, it's got haze, like you get when you leave a plastic, some plastic sleeves on vinyl. Um, especially if you put a vinyl record into a thick, clear plastic sleeve, sometimes they get that foot, that um, cloudiness on the vinyl. Well, that's what, this, this has happened to this, but this has been completely sealed. So I don't know why it's like that. And I don't understand why, it's actually that CD, you can see. This is the one I put in. You can see the um, the middle there. The, the, the label started flaking off. So I don't know what's happened there. I fought when they made them. So I had that um, with uh, the Heart Desire Walks On album. I've had three copies of that. And I don't dare play my new copy because um, it's still in mint condition, but the ones, the other two I played, they always go like this CD has. Um, the next one is this. This is um, one I picked up in a, I think either I got from my Ian, who I bought get CDs from, or I got it from a charity shop, but I didn't pay hardly anything for it. And I was really happy with it. It's got a bit of sticker that I gotta take off. But this is live at Tower, for, at the Tower of Philadelphia, double disc, and it's perfect condition. And um, so yeah, I, I really uh, was chuffed. I've got to stick that one on, listen to that. That's actually from 2005. Um, I've only got two CDs left, David Bowie. So I'll leave this one here is next. This one's called Earthling. Um, I always thought that awful song Space Boy was on this album, Earthling. Um, but I don't think it, it's, no. There's no track listing on the outside sleeve. Um, let's have a look. This is from 1997. Just see. See if there's any, uh, go. This thing goes on and on and on. Um, Again, don't know any of the songs on here. No, I don't. So if you own this, let me know what you think of it. Let me know what, what your favorite era of David Bowie is. That would be cool in the comments below. But yeah, I'm definitely one for the 70s more, so. Um, last CD is this one. This is um, called Reality. Another one I picked up in the charity shop. Always find David Bowie CDs in the charity shop. This one's a digipack, which I was very pleased to get hold of. Uh, it's got two CDs, obviously, as you can see. Um, there's only th four songs on CD2. Fly, Queen of All the Tarts, Overture. Oh no, that's the same song. Uh, so there's three songs on Rebel, Rebel. Uh, CD1 is uh, just there, as you will see. But yeah, that's um, I probably paid 25 pence for that because the CDs in Guernsey in the charity shop they can be five for a pound, uh, five for 20 pence, uh, sorry, five for a quid, uh, sorry, 10, I'll get that right in a minute, five for a quid at 20 pence each or 25 pence each, or you can get them at 10 for a quid sometimes if they do a special deal. Um, yeah, 
I can't wait for the charity shops to open again. Um, I'm really missing going mooching and seeing what cheap CDs I can pick up to show. And, but yeah, so I'm just going through my collection at the moment and trying to pick out stuff that people will be interested in. Any, any um, requests for any videos, put in the comments below on any of my stuff, send me a message, whatever you want to do. And um, I've got a few more videos to make. I've pulled loads more things out. So keep watching, keep listening to whatever it is you're listening to and keep rocking and um, stay safe, stay home if you have to. And um, yes, I've, yeah, like I said before, still loads more to pull out. So cheers.